But we're in this. This is the podcast. We're in it, baby. Welcome to Crashing with Friends. Chiefs talk. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this episode is going to be mainly about. Episode 126. The third time with Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank Watlett. Frank, yeah, Frank, baby. Frank, 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 Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, Frank. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to get some higher numbers up there with the subscribers. But, uh, Jackson, how's your week been, man? Dude, it's been pretty good. Um, I watched the new Ninja Turtles movie. It was fantastic. I didn't think I was going to like it because I am not a fan of Ninja Turtles. Like, that's just how I've been my whole life. Never been a fan of it. Really enjoyed this movie. So I like that a lot. Uh, there was another movie I started watching, uh, The Iron Claw, about the uh, Von, er- Von Erichs. Yeah. And, yeah, that's good. dude... It was sad though, man. Like, gotta say, Zach Efron looks like one big muscly hunk in that movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's got uh the waitress from that movie Baby Driver okay. in it. Nice. Like that was like the only other actor that I actually rec- or actress I should say I recognized in the movie. But yeah, there were so many like Old school wrestlers, like they had like someone that was playing Ric Flair on there, and then Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Like as a wrestling fan, I was like, dude, this is such a great movie. And that A twenty four gave it like the good treatment. They treated it like a serious drama. Okay, so cool. Check that out if you guys uh just want to watch a really good movie about like the dark side of wrestling, I guess. Maybe one of your movies of the year so far. Yeah. I mean, as a it's twenty twenty four. Uh, I think uh, that movie technically came year? out in 2023, though. So oh, okay. it did, yeah. Okay, yeah. So technically, can't put it on my list. <laughs> okay. So how was but, Ninja Turtle, man? Dude, it was great. Killer. Yeah, I thought awesome. Seth Rogen would have a lot more lines, and I didn't expect. Uh, what are the name? Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't expect them to kind of like just turn good guys towards the end of the movie. And it was just like mainly just one bad guy. And then everyone else was a bad guy. It's like, yo, screw this one big bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Ice Cube yeah. did a great job voice acting, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd like black. to see more. Yeah. Give me more Ice Cube voice acting. I'd give it a, I don't know, eight and a half out of ten. That's where I put it. Okay. I gave it like a nine. So that's that's respectable. Yeah. It's hard for me to give a insanely high score to a kid's movie to me that is a insanely high score for a kid's movie so yeah, yeah. not quite at the spider-man level but close yeah other than that Nothing. just uh defending lady liberty on hell divers 2 like i'm sucked into the game dude i love that game it's, it's pretty cool if you've ever seen the movie uh what's it called starship troopers, starship troopers. it's basically just a huge homage to that game with a homage to like Terminators and some yeah. other like epic sci-fi movies from the 80s and 90s. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. All three of us can't get enough of it right now. So yeah. As a matter of fact, tonight that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's going to be on my list for sure. My, my end of the year game list. It might be <laughs> it's so far. It's pretty good. It's man. very, like, very good. Yeah. Yes. I'm only like, I've only played for 13 hours and I'm like loving it so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We haven't even gotten to the parts where we're doing, super insanely crazy stuff yet like there's so many more difficulty levels that we have to go through now Mm -hmm. so yeah it's gonna be fun other than that uh yeah just been hanging out and chilling you know we got a new dog and i'm already sick of it it's a cute little bugger (laughs) but man it's chewing up everything man so yeah I wish I could get rid of that dog, but I've got a heart, so I'm not going to (laughs) that's all they're good for man is chewing up stuff yep Mm -hmm. yeah Mm mm-hmm so it's every time I look at that dog, I'm like, ah, fuck you, dog. But let me give you some pets. <laughs> Come here, I'll give you some scratches. But uh, yeah, Connor, how's your week going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing the Adidas tracksuit finally, so I feel pretty good about <laughs> it. It's a little bit more poofy than I thought it was going to be. It, it still looks good though. It's got like multiple layers, so it creates like a like a I don't know parachute pants kind of effect a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm having a really good time with it. I feel uh, like with those <laughs> kinds of tracksuits, everything all matching, you could probably get backstage into some areas that oh, you're not yeah. allowed to. You know? sure. And everyone just be like, 
He's got the he's got the outfit for it. <laughs> he's a dancer. He's, he's going. Yeah. He's obviously with whoever's here. Right, Shakira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. J Lo. You're with Ed Sheeran. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. I was, gonna, I was definitely going to commend you on the on the suit, man. It's um, brings me back to my youth. Are you thinking about, <laughs> you thinking about picking yeah, one up, man? I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, days of the Beastie Boys and stuff. Yeah. This, this is gonna go great with like uh, Chief stuff, you know. Later on in the year, when it comes back in style, mm. yeah, so no, it's very sweet. Oh, We're yeah. the champions, so it's gonna be in style for the rest of the year. Oh yeah, yep. Oh yeah. Um, but the cool thing is, I got my other tracksuits in my black Adidas. That's like not poofy like this. It's like smaller, and then my Under Armour one. So I'm just like I'm like living so so good right now. <laughs> so many tracksuits. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, but aside from that, I've just been catching up on some anime that David was talking about a few weeks ago. Which ones? Um, Jujutsu Kaisen. It's like, I don't know, it's really gory and kind of like deals with like evil spirits and stuff like that. All right. Is that the one that was on HBO you were talking about? or No, that's another one that's really gory that deals with ninjas. See, if there's a lot of gore in it, I'll watch. Okay. Like, That's, I'll watch uh, anime if there's a lot of gore in it. Because I'm like, okay, now there's going to be some action and some people getting cut up. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks cool in anime style, so. That one's called Ninja Kamui, and that's on uh, Adult Swim, but it's also on HBO the next day. And it, it was pretty good. There's only, like, two episodes out now. But if you like ninja stuff, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty gory, too. Um, just people getting cut up. Um, but yeah, check, check that out. Jackson, <laughs> I know Jackson's gonna love it. Nothing like carnage. <laughs> I love I love freaking action violence, man. It's the coolest it's, thing ever. It's, it's got, one of the reasons why I loved Kill Bill with such a passion for a long time. When I first saw it, I was like, dude, this is the movie I've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. It's got really good uh, fight choreography, which is good for like whether or not an anime is good or not. Is like are the fights good usually? Like the story's one thing, but how good are the fights, you know? And definitely you'll like the fights in that one. All right. It's same with Jujutsu Kaisen. I think you'd like that one too. I'll check them both out. Sweet. Uh but yeah, just playing Hell Divers with these guys and uh I cooked gumbo on Sunday. Um but notes to me, Kyle was also cooking gumbo on Sunday with his wife. Um, so yeah, I meal prepped that for the week and then froze the other half and been eating that. Been yeah, I, I did no cooking. Rachel did all of it. Okay. So Rachel did <laughs> take, you, you I, can't, I can't take any credit. Definitely did a lot of monitoring. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot, lot of hovering, monitoring. waiting. A lot of hover. Yeah. Nice. As much as I hate it, <laughs> I would love to leave Rachel to all the cooking because she is the best cook. Dude. She's really, really good, dude. Like, it's like I feel bad whenever she cooks, but at the same time, I'm reaping the best benefits out of it. So nice. And she started like anyone else at the bottom, and she just went all the way up. Man, it's crazy. She's so good at cooking; it's a freaking awesome. Got to use spices. I keep telling her, mm -hmm. go to Master spices. Chef. Got to use salt. Got to use spices, mm -hmm. dude. That's such a killer. Is you got to add salt, man. So much flavor comes from salt. Yeah. It's like, if you don't put salt on something, you can taste it immediately. It's like, this is just, it just needs the salt. That's all it is, you know? Salt is my favorite food. <laughs> Wars <Yeah>. were fought <laughs> over salt. That's true. I know that. That's a good point. What'd you say? Wars, Wars have been fought oh, over salt. salt. Okay. <laughs> yeah. True that. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> that Goats is. will climb to the top of a big ass dam just to get the salt up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Salt's crazy, bro. That Himalayan salt, man. I love me some salt. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the weirdest thing ever <laughs> say. Dude, I love salt. <laughs> I love salt. <laughs> Salt's good. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm proud to be a salt lover. <laughs> What's Jackson doing? He's just licking his salt again. Yep. Like usual. Salt. Salt lick. <laughs> Yeah, I got this big block of salt in my bedroom. <laughs> Just wake up, go quick lake, look at here and there. Yeah. What are you so excited for this morning, Jackson? It's slug season. <laughs> oh, gross. Dude. You ever do that? That's oh, yeah. evil. But yeah. Yeah. It's evil. Yeah. I mean, that's wow. the way to kill him, right? Little, ki wow. little kidney would be so excited to be like, oh. But, well, yeah, you don't want to touch him. You I didn't, I didn't care about bugs at all towel. as a kid. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Yeah, I didn't care about bugs at all as a kid, dude. 
as a kid, I was just like, all right, someone go find me an axe body spray can and a lighter. I'm about to torch Torch. this spider that I see here. Yeah. We did a lot of that torching as well, but like in our room and then we'd catch like the carpet on fire and stuff like that. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah, that's my week. What about you, Kyle? How you doing? Uh, It's been pretty good, man. Um, Been checking out that Mr. and Mrs. Smith TV show on Amazon Prime. Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, Donald Glover, right? Yeah, Donald Glover. Uh, it's it's got a different premise than the original, like the one with uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Um, they know, like, they're contracted by some government to basically live in a house and complete missions for this entity. It's uh, some computer program or something, and they just go out and do missions. And you know, if they fail, they get like they only have like three tries, you know, before something happens. But it's it's got a pretty cool premise so far. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's got a lot of you know cool assassination kind of stuff, which is cool. And Donald Glover has always got a pretty slick dialogue, and uh, it just more of that in this show. I, I like some Donald Glover stuff. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I really want to watch Atlanta sometime. I hear he's really good in that. Yeah, I've watched the first uh, two seasons of Atlanta, and I loved it. I just need to finish that. Really, okay. Um, but yeah, my week has been pretty good. Frank, what about you, man? How's your week been? It's been busy. We've missed you, man. I know, man. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah, no, I uh, got back from uh, last weekend, went to Breckenridge, Colorado, and oh, spent two days rolling down the mountain. <laughs> I was supposed to be skiing, but it was more... It was more physical. Than okay. That. Yeah. More yeah. ball with a ball to back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got tired of the ski patrol coming up behind me saying, You all right, dude? <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Did, did you yeah, like wear a snow. pillow on your butt or anything? Or like, because I know like when you first start out, some people will, will do that. Yeah. No, I didn't do that. No. I just went, you know, I just Remember went all it? out. Just kind of reminded me of like football. Yeah. Or taking the crash and. Was it a uh, really packed snow, or was it? It was very, like, very packed. No, it was very loose. Uh, they got so much snow. I mean, it probably snowed twenty four inches while we were there. Woo! Fresh pow. Fresh powder, man. It wow. was it was crazy. It was very beautiful, and so I've really kind of spent the rest of this, you know, this week <laughs> recovering from that. Hmm. Yeah, it take me a while to recover for something like that, yeah, you know. Man, it's you know you you think, exert some energy when you're out there on those. I think my on sister, those slopes, man. I pinched a nerve in like my neck area from like I don't know, like a cough or a sneeze or something like that. All you went skiing, <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've been over here like, man, I can barely lift my arm to put it on the keyboard without just feeling like, ah, yeah. I think my sister almost died snowboarding, right? Didn't she like do like a like half of a backflip and then like landed on her head? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, my two sons went with me and they were they're, they're snowboarders and yeah, they were backflipping and I was like there was so much snow that the boarders and the and the skiers were pushing the snow up into piles, so it was like every slope was a black mogul slope. Okay. So it was, um, yeah, I was midair a lot, and I don't like being midair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Out <man>. of control. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty rough. Man. But it was fun. We had a great time. Uh, I've always wanted to go snowboarding it, like down a mountain. I've only snowboarded, like, as a little kid, and I have one of them Walmart snowboards. But we had, like, a really steep hill by our house, and we would, like, build ramps and stuff at the bottom of the hill and i was able to successfully jump the ramps that we made as kids so i'm like i think i could probably go out there and do some sean white stuff mm-hmm. yeah hell yeah Dude, i feel like i have it, it in now me. you could still do it now don't forget, forget man yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just Let's gotta go. be able to <laughs> just gotta be able to afford a board or steal someone's board <laughs> when i go there i'm Did sure you, you can rent one you can rent them it was not bad yeah did you like stay at a resort or was it, did you stay in? Airbnb. Airbnb? Yeah. Airbnb. It's a really nice place. And uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of time there other, you know, because if we weren't on the slopes, we were like hitting the breweries and in town. And 
like micro breweries or yeah yeah they had they they have a bunch yeah we were at a place called the broken compass i think there was another restaurant slash you know brewery called tin play it was really cool a lot of good beers and give you like a tasting you can yep you can go right up to the barn and and you know say i want to taste you know that that and that and they'll give you a little thing. what do they call it like a flight is that what they call yeah, it? flight <clears throat> and you can order flights you know like if you find three or four of them that you like you can get a flight and, nice yeah cool place man i love it when bars do that mm-hmm yeah. Yeah, before I stopped drinking, I would, like a lot of times so I'd go to bars, I would get a flight and just try a whole bunch of these little ones because I can't. Some of those beers, I can't drink a full one of those, dude. Like some of those oh, yeah. ales, it's like, whoa! Mm-hmm. I didn't expect that. I'll never forget that one. I f- was it like a dollar beer that we got at? Oh god, it was the grossest thing I ever tasted. Oh my god, I was like, man, this is worth you couldn't pay me ten dollars to finish this beer let alone me pay you a dollar to do it <laughs> i think it had coffee in it yeah and it was like mixed with like coffee and a little, it's like little, kind of a stout mm, yeah, yeah. Man, some little. of the pale ales man they're they, man they're hard to take man. Mm-hmm. i like sours i like some dark beer stuff so yeah i do like me a pale ale but mm-hmm. yeah it's not, just not the real it all depends things. on the beer man yeah it's all dependent on the beer mm-hmm. yeah i yeah. like some like green ghost that's a good one yeah anything else going on with your week see anything new or watching new tv shows right uh here? you know i tell you, you guys were talking about brad pitt while we were out in colorado we uh we my son was flipping around and he said hell we got to watch this movie it was called seven Oh, oh, yes, dude, yes. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> the first time I've ever seen that movie, I was like freaked out. Man, that was, that's a creepy movie, man. Were you yeah, able yeah. to avoid the spoilers throughout, like for the movie throughout the whole? Yeah, like they, all this they time? would not say anything. Ah, oh, man. And that was, yeah, it was uh, Morgan Freeman and it had Brad been spoiled. Pitt. It was, phew. it had been spoiled for me from like tv shows that were like spoofing it you know throughout the years that's how it got spoiled for me yeah well, i i hadn't seen anything like you know about it had no idea what what the movie was <laughs> I, you know my sons were like you're gonna get a kick yeah. out of this. <laughs> it's a great movie yeah it's wild yeah man. it is very wild it's a very good movie i enjoyed it so other than that man it's just you know work it's tax time it's we stay extremely busy at this time of year and so it's all good. Yeah. Trudging through tax all season. Good. Chiefs are Super Bowl yeah. champs again. Mm-hmm. As I think it should be. better than that, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it should always be that way, you know? Yeah. All right. So more Brad Pitt movies. I just want to say Bullet Train. Jackson. Yeah. Bullet Train is fantastic. You got a good one? Did Another Brad Pitt? Another Brad Pitt. Inglorious Bastards. Great. It's not really a full on Brad Pitt movie, but it is a fantastic movie. It's a good one. Fury. Jury? I've never Fury. seen Jury. Oh, Fury. Oh, Fury. I haven't uh, seen Fury. World War Two. Mm-hmm. It's the one the where they're, uh, yeah, they're yeah. in a tank. Yeah. yeah it's good. got Shia LeBeau in it. Is that on Netflix right now? I'm not sure. Uh, I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's on one of them streaming sites. Yeah, yeah it's on one of the streaming on, places. Yeah. yeah. That or That's Hulu or intense. HBO or something. It's, it's oh, somewhere. Good. I heard, like, on the set of that movie for Fury, like, Shia LaBeau, like, just refused to shower the entire time. Like, so all the dirt and muck you see on him is, like, the dirt and muck that's been on him for, like, a week, two weeks. And everyone was pissed that they had to be in the tank with that dude, like, almost the entire time of shooting. He's like, dude, take a shower. And he's like, ah, go to hell. Damn. It's like, I got a mustache, and I knocked a tooth out for this role, dude. Yeah. I'm not showering. I'm going to get stinky. <laughs> and Brad Pitt is over on the sideline. He's like, I like your style. I don't think he showers either. Right. He wiped himself down with, like, uh, like baby, baby wipes, wipes or something. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Who wants to smell like baby wipes all the time? Dude? Moist towelettes. He's probably got some, like, $50 million toilet, like, wipes that are so good that... You're probably right. He's probably got, like, yeah. some crazy smelling... Like, man, I'm just rubbing like pure sexiness, more sexiness all over my 60 year old, 60, sexy body. Brad Pitt, Troy, 
Love him in Troy. It's been so long since I've seen Troy, man. I remember almost nothing about that movie except like the opening fight scene where he jabs that big old muscly dude. <laughs> yeah. I love that part, dude. Just all the all the Achilles parts and then all the stuff with like Hector and what Brian Cox is in that movie. Yeah, Brian Cox is in that movie as Agamemnon. I think so. Yeah, dude, I love that movie. Yeah. Meet Joe Black. I haven't seen that in a no, while, no, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> Meet yeah, Joe Black is good. Long, yeah, I I watched it not too long ago. Not bad. Every time I watch it, it always reminds me of the time that I got hit by the car. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't get hit the way he got hit. That's man. literally how I got hit, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All you needed to do was put a skateboard underneath Brad Pitt, and that would have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you, Frank? What's that? Did I get you? No. Okay. Spit up all you over spray? himself. Gosh. Oh, man. No, man, it's all good. Yeah, skateboarding, man, that's like, it's like playing football without pads, man, you know, in some ways. Slipping out and hitting that concrete. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but it's like, I think skateboarders can relate to football players more than anybody else just because of the impacts, you know. Tell me why I never tried it. I was gonna say, do, what do you think about that? Do you think that there's some similarity between the impacts, like the toughness? Do you think we're tough, Frank? <laughs> I would say, yeah, man. If you uh, we got to show if you're, if you're hitting the pavement without without protection, <laughs> yeah. you're way tougher than me. That's, we got to show him some kind of montage of like we got to show him the Chris Joel trying to three sixty flip. Uh, what was it, <laughs> Wallenberg? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, are you talking about El Toro? That's no Wallenberg, the one that's like the, it's like three super long steps or whatever. But yeah, you see him like eat shit so many times, like 12 times in a row, finally makes it. They go up to him. He shows his arm and it's so swollen right there. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing about skateboarding culture that's kind of like, why, why is it that way? Because like nobody wants to wear pads at all. Nobody wants to wear a helmet. Even the girls don't want to wear a helmet. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's like, if I would have wore pads as a skateboarder, I would have been two, three times better than I was, and I wouldn't have gotten hurt as much as I did, you know? Because, like, all the time you're falling on your hands, and, like, they make pads for your hands, but nobody wanted to wear them because it's like you kind of look like a dork, you know? But Do you guys probably weren't old enough to remember BTB? There's BTB. a place called BTB here in Joplin. It was a skateboard indoor thing i used to take my boys to it and it was sweet had all kinds of ramps and mm -hmm. huh it was kind Man. of you I, know when that whole i remember thing got was getting going and yeah i remember bridge and i remember feeble bridge. town yeah yeah i had I heard of feeble town and i i actually went to the bridge because that was open whenever i was skating at the time yep. but yeah. yeah i went to both locations the new and the old one where was Man. btb at it was down on uh, 7th Street, right right where the bridge is there, going across the, r the railroad tracks. Okay. It was on the south side. Hmm. It was just like an old brick building, man. You go in there, and dudes would be tearing it up. Hmm. That was the that one was thing fun, about, at a, like, if you go to a real skate park, they usually do make you wear a helmet or, like, sign a waiver or something, you know? So that's, that part of it's cool, but yeah, I don't know what it is about skateboarding culture. It's like nobody wants to really protect themselves. It's kind of weird. I mean, I kind of get it because I learned skating without that, without the pads, you know? Right. It does kind of hinder you a little bit. Like going like, however, if I was vert skating, 100% taking pads. Oh yeah. All, yeah. Not, I'm definitely going to be taking pads because I know I'm going to be slamming my knees a lot. And your head. Yeah, in my head. Yeah. Yeah, nobody hates on Tony Hawk for wearing all those pads. Mm hmm. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> you ever met Tony Hawk? No, no, not, never met him. Nice. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. It's good that you haven't met the cool man. Movie. It would be cool. It would be cool. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that was my topic skateboarding and football comparison. <laughs> Kyle, you got the questions? Yeah. The questionnaire. Okay, Frank, so we're throwing you a curveball. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So we've, Let me turn that. We think our, uh, the questions, because we've asked these questions like probably the last three weeks now, I think. 
At least two weeks. At least two weeks. We've just done it. Probably, I think it was just two probably weeks. Probably like three or four weeks. For lack of getting stale. Feels sick. like a year. Yeah. <laughs> like a year. For lack of it getting stale with our viewers, we're going to throw you 15 different questions. Okay, man. We're going to change it up, eh? Exactly. Yeah. More normal questions. Sure. Oh, man. <laughs> but if you got funny answers, go for it. <laughs> okay. I can ask you one of the weird questions from the last one. <laughs> All right. Who is the sexiest cartoon animal? <laughs> sexiest cartoon yeah. animal. Imagine you had to turn yourself into a cartoon animal. And you're like, "All right, I got to bed one of these cartoon animals." Mm-hmm. <laughs> it could be a squirrel, could be any type of animal. Maybe you raise some kids. I went with yeah. Roxanne Goofy movie, and then my backup was what was her name? Maid Marion? Or Maid Marion, Maid yeah, Marion from, from uh, the Robin Hood. Robin Hood movie? Yeah, the fox. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I have. I don't know if I ever remember watching cartoons. Ah, uh, sorry, see? man. There you go. That's, that's why we I'm changed the question. Back, back when we were you like, know, I don't days, know. There, you know, you only had three channels on TV, and if your mom and dad didn't want to watch cartoons, you're out of luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So we played outside a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay. So the first normal-ish question. So you're now a centaur. Okay. Do you know what a centaur is? <sighs> half man, half horse. Horse thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's the first thing you do when you realize you're a centaur? Was he born that way or was he raised? He just realizes it. <laughs> What's the first thing you do? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you just whoa. come to the realization, whoa, I'm a centaur. What do you do? What's the first thing you do? I don't know, man. I check out my hooves, I guess. That's a perfect check question. Perfect answer, Start dude. Galloping <laughs> my hooves. First yeah. thing that came to That's my mind. That's the first normal question. <laughs> make sure my t- somebody's brushing my tail and stuff. That's a, that's a wild first. That's a wild first question. It's and we dubbed to be a normal one. <laughs> um, what is? Did you have any um, childhood nicknames? Uh not that I can remember. When I, once I started playing football, though, you know, I was the, I don't know, somebody called me like the javelin or something like that because I was always spearing people and like launching the air and like spear people. Dude. The javelin. Goldberg and I'm just <laughs> <laughs> plowing them down to the mat. That's a pretty good name. I like that. Okay. Think, well, what? No, I just was going to say I, Maybe for a while, like, you know, my dad was always like, dumbass, come over here. <laughs> so maybe it was dumbass. <laughs> what are you doing? I was like, dad. <laughs> okay, answer this then. Do you do you look fondly back on that? Like your dad calling you dumbass? Do you look like kind of almost fondly on that? Or do you? I mean, I kind of do. My, my dad died in 2013, so I miss him, you know. And But he, he was a... Uh, I mean, he was a football coach, so, you know, he was, like, disciplinarian, and, you know, when you're a kid, the last thing you want to be is, like, a disciplined Disciplined. kid, (laughs) you know, you want to, like, kind of push, so, yeah, I got smacked around (laughs) a few times for, you know, pushing the envelope. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, but yeah, it was all good, man. I, I had a good, I had a good upbringing. This is a weird question I asked, yeah. anyways. Weird question, <laughs> not as weird You're as right the same question. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the center. I wouldn't have ever thought about that. <laughs> Frank, what's the best flavor? The best flavor. Hmm. Uh, I like bubble gum. Okay. All right. That's the best flavor. Okay. For me, man. Like classic bubble gum? Classic old All right. school bubble gum. Not a bad okay. one. Do you it like, doesn't last long. But <laughs> do you like uh, stuff that is flavored bubble gum, like bubble gum soda or anything like that? Have you gone no, that just way? gum. <laughs> <laughs> just gum just bubble gum yeah <laughs> alright I, I, I'm not yeah I'm not a big soda drinker so fair 
I can't remember if I they, they have like something called like a bubblegum shots or something like that. I might have had one of those. Oh gosh, those. they had they've got like they got bubblegum cotton and, candy. Yeah, they got stuff some like that. that. Kind of stuff. But, hmm. That's what, kind of random. <laughs> what word or phrase best describes you? Well, if you were to ask his father. <laughs> uh, I would say hard worker. Hard worker. I worked hard when I was playing ball. I work hard, you know, in my business now. Try to, you know, try to do a good job for my clients and stuff. So, Not afraid of hard work. Not afraid of hard work. Good. And no matter what, who do you want to be? Who do you want to be deserted on a desert island with? Like realistically, who do you want to be? I deserted? probably would be my wife. Oh, smart man! <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be watching this. Episode. Forty years we've been married, and I've still, you know, still got the hots for her. So. Yeah, good That's answer. That would, be, that would be cool. If I had to be, yeah, if I had to be on a desert line, yeah, island, I'd be there with my best buddy. Yeah. Sounds like a vacation at that point. It does, man. Yeah, on the beach, some coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next one, Kyle? <laughs> what's your favorite curse word? Oh man, you know what it is. Can I say it? Yeah, go for it. Well, I mean, it's got to be fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's gotta be. It really I mean, is. I've I <laughs> played football from the time I was eight until I was 30. That was every other word in the locker room was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck, it, motherfucker. <laughs> it fits in everything. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm hurt. Fuck. <laughs> I'm in awe. <laughs> Fuck. It's like it fits everywhere, know, bro. <laughs> and unfortunately, I still use a lot. Of my, you know, my wife is like, you're not in the locker room. You know, can you tone it down? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it, Connor. <laughs> you put the fucking IKEA furniture together, then. <laughs> um, what is your dream car, Frank? Uh, Porsche. Ooh, which one? GTS. Have you ever had one? No, I want one. Why don't you kill I've it? had several back in the day, but ah, you know, now nah, I mean, I'm at the stage now where, but oh, look, that, look at that old man in that sports car. He's you know trying to impress people and all that. So, it was just living uh, life, man. And you'd I be know. correct, right? They'd be correct. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Would you uh, open it up and try to go all out? If you had a Porsche, or would you like just keep it? Yeah, keep it? you know, back in the day, man, I had a, I had, I had, the, had a nine forty four turbo. It was a limited edition. It was kind of champagne colored. It was freaking sweet, and um, you know, I was driving home from Kansas City, and this guy in this Ford Mustang came flying by me, and I was like, okay, let's see how fast this little dude can go. And man, I, was, I swear to God, I looked down. And we were going 140, and after that, I was like, uh, "I think I'm going to sell this thing, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I'm going to kill myself <laughs> if I don't." And so, yeah, that was the last time I ever ever had uh, had a car like that. It's just too it's just too easy, man. To, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Were you going down a down. Were you going down a straight, or did you have to take it, was it straight? Through? Yeah, it was it was pretty straight. But the guy, the Mustang, he was. I mean, he was trying to keep up, but <laughs> yeah. But my, my dad, he has a uh, well, he used to have one, but he had a two thousand eight BMW M five, which at the time was the fastest four door 
like car that you could get. And he was like, once we get on the highway, why don't you test this thing out? See how fast you can go. I was like, all right. And I got it up to about 130. And it's like, okay, slow down, slow down. <laughs> but it was like an empty highway. You know, mm-hmm. there was no traffic. So I was just like, I'm going to, I'm going to gun it, man. And man, the cool thing I loved about that BMW is that whenever you turn left or like you turn left, the right side of your seat would air up. It would always keep you centered. So you never had to like worry about lean, leaning with your own weight to turn. It was constantly just shifting like it's weight for you. That's Man, I cool. miss driving that car so much, dude. I <laughs> know. Oh, and the thing that was really cool about those cars, it just seems like the faster you went, the better they handled. Mm-hmm. You know, they just made for that kind of speed. It was really cool. That so I kind of like to have one again someday, but man, I'll tell you what, they're pricey now. Oh yeah, I believe that everything's pricey as hell now. Right. Frank, who's going to play you in your biopic? <laughs> I have no idea. Who's going to play Frank in his biopic, guys? Oh man, I gotta see what a young picture of Frank looks like. I, all the yeah, pictures of young Frank I've seen have been in the helmet. Yeah, can black, you see, can black you see, hair, black hair, black curly hair. Can you see his face through that you know, was, helmet? My, Italian hair, Italian hair. Maybe Sylvester Stallone or something. Like that. There you go. It's a good choice. I was choice. thinking like a Henry Cavill yeah. type. Henry Cavill. He's got the build. You yeah. know. Henry Cavill is like the one dude that like. It's like Henry Cavill and Ryan Reynolds. It's like those are the two dudes that like most guys are like. I'm not gay. But <laughs> <laughs> that is a perfect gentleman right there. Right. Uh, Frank, what meal could you eat every day? Uh, Don't say bubble gum. No, 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 no. Uh, I could eat like salmon every day. Really? Yeah. Man. Love salmon. We eat it a lot. Cook it a lot of different ways, or just. I mean, there's really, yeah. I mean, you try to get creative, but you know, it's one of those things that you just salmon or tuna. Mm -hmm. See, like for me, if I didn't have to deal with the repercussions of it, it would be nacho cheese, and I mean, (laughs) like straight up ballpark from a tin can nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. It's the best nacho cheese in the world. I don't know what they do. To it, you know, why is it different from the stuff they sell at Walmart? I don't know, but yeah, nacho cheese. I will, I'll take a bath in it, you know, <laughs> I'll love it as long as I've known you, Jack. That's been you, dude, is mm-hmm. the nacho cheese thing. I go to Taco Bell, get like the five liter burrito, be like, give me a side of nacho cheese to go with it, and I dip my whole burrito in it. And if there's any cheese left in that thing, guess who's licking the bottom of that little thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're talking about stuff like that, I mean, I guess, you know, movie popcorn with butter. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's nothing like, like that. That butter's, like, real thick. Because <laughs> <laughs> they just, like, slather it on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I tell them, give me heart attack and level. Lot of salt. <laughs> and a lot of salt. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you want, Jackson you, knows. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go there, they're like, you want butter with that? I'm like, heart attack level, buddy. So you put it in there. <laughs> I love it, man. I want a pea butter. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, would you rather live in like a fantasy world like Lord of the Rings or like a sci-fi world like Star Trek? Ah, uh, man, I'd probably I'd probably go for the sci-fi. I mean, we were talking when we were on the ski trip about, you know, Terminator 2, Skynet and Mm-hmm. How we're heading there with AI? I robot. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I need to watch these movies again because that's where we're going to be in about five or ten years. I got to know how to battle them. Oh, yeah. Be prepped. <laughs> be ready. Get some EMPs ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'd probably go sci fi. Okay. What would be your role in this sci fi universe? Uh, I'd probably try to be like Luke Skywalker. Got to. Give him a lightsaber and he's slicing up some, some <laughs> stormtroopers. Uh, stormtroopers? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that does for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what animal do you want to be friends with? Cheetah. Hell yeah. They're badass. Mm-hmm. Big cats in general are awesome, but cheetahs especially are awesome. Yeah, I'd go for the cheetah. Don't they have that like special claw that like pops out and then like goes in for the attack? Or is that raptors? I don't think that's raptor. Okay. You're talking about retractable claws? Yeah. Or? Doesn't doesn't a cheetah have a retractable claw for when it, it goes in for the attack? I, don't know. I think you're I think you're actually right. Because they, they run at like 70 miles per hour or something like, like that. So once they fish. finally catch up to the antelope or whatever, I think they do have that claw to try to... Just like one-shot them, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a, I gotcha, mm-hmm. latch on. Yeah. I think you're right. Also, isn't the cheetah like uh, one of the most like inbred animals in the animal kingdom? Who knows, man? They're all inbred, bro. Probably. I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I heard know. that There's recently. not a whole lot of them there anymore, so... <laughs> I think yeah. that's a fact. It is. Dang. It's probably how it is with almost all big cats now, man. Yeah. They've dwindled down to such low numbers. If you get it, if you get any population well, down to a thousand. I mean, if you're cheating, you're wanting to score. Then who, nobody's going to be able to run away from you. So you can nail it. True that. You only get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Running out about 66 miles an hour. You got one shot at this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. Uh, okay. You have to cut off a limb because of the snake bite. Mm. Which limb are you cutting off? <laughs> you get to choose where the bit snake bit you. <laughs> <in this. laughs> it's not like I got bit on the forehead and a genie pops up. It's like, all right, you sacrifice a limb, I'll let you live. <laughs> I probably had to go with left arm. Okay. Now, do that you think sense. you could actually do it? Like, for any, real. any anesthesia? No, for <laughs> real. Do you think if you could actually do it out in the field? You think you cut your own arm off? I would Ooh. die. Ooh. Yeah, I'd be dead. I would die. Yeah, I'd I'm not cutting die. my own stuff off, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm not mean, cutting my own shit off. If I was in that... <laughs> So what was that movie that called? Like gonna knock me out and chop me up, but mm-hmm. I'm not doing it. What was that James Franco movie called where he gets his arm stuck in the canyon for an extended period? It's like, it's like 128 100, hours. Something like the 128 hours, 148 hours. Yeah. I would have for sure hours. died down there. I would have been like, eh, well, I'm just going to try to find a way to get comfortable and die. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have thought to try to cut my arm off. <laughs> I mean, I guess theoretically, if you, if you had like an extremely sharp weapon and you could just make it instantaneous, you know, maybe. But if you didn't have, I mean, if you were stuck like that and yeah, you didn't no. have any other way to do it than other like gnaw your. Yeah, all you have is a box mid. cutter. Uh. No, not oh. happening. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening. Oh. They'll find yeah. my skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I will ask whatever female is there, like around, be like, yo, I ain't got a lot of time left. <laughs> I'm going to die. Don't let me. <laughs> Make me feel like a man before I go. <laughs> There's still time. Um, if you could hack anything, you're now a hacker. Mm. Who are you hacking? Elon Musk. Okay, why are you hacking him? Man, I just his technology knowledge, and mm-hmm. I want to see what he's working on. Maybe get some of his money. Just, while you're have, uh, I mean, yeah, I want to see what is up with them AI robots that he's making. Man, you know he's got to be. He's got to be. He's got to be working on it. He's got to be working on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was hoping he'll let me have he, one. You know, he's probably partying in his room. Mm-hmm. And he gets on that, you know, on that plane. And he's probably coming up with some weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Any of those guys, Musk, Zuckerberg, people like that. Did you guys you see like that new it. thing from Zuckerberg? The uh, the whole hand thing, the keyboard. It's like a it's like a wristwatch. Yeah, it's like a wristwatch that you can be able to like just think about typing and it will type. Type for you. 
It's like that's yeah, that's pretty interesting because yeah. he's like, I don't want to have a chip in my brain, so I'd rather just make a watch for yeah. it. Yeah, like that's the right thinking. That's I don't right want anything idea. in my brain. I don't want anything in my body unless it's robot legs. Yeah. Yeah, then, I'm not entirely sure I want anything in my brain either. Sometimes I think weird thoughts, man. Uh, yeah, there's. I don't want. So I don't want a government like looking at my thoughts, being like, "This guy's thinking about like mixing chocolate and nacho cheese together." Yeah. Look, here's like, the thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like I don't want to do it. I'm just thinking about it. It's like, <laughs> the government already knows what you think. They can see all your search histories. They already know fully who you are. Yeah, pretty much. To a certain extent. Odds are you've looked that up before. <laughs> Mixing chocolate and cheese. I've actually never have. I was just trying to think of something that I haven't done. <laughs> I was like, I can't put my real stuff out there. <laughs> so they're banking on that being something that you do in the future, though. Yeah. <laughs> what would you, who would you guys hack? Who would you hack, Connor? Um, I know you've had to think about this at least once in your life. I actually haven't thought about hacking somebody, um, but oh, okay. you know, maybe some political person, see what dirt they've really got on them. You know, I was thinking about it, man. I want to hack Oreo. I want to know how they're making their Oreos. I want to know how they get it perfectly to press. I don't think you need to hack. I yeah, think you, you could just probably hack. look it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know scientifically. <laughs> Yeah, I there's probably know. a how it's made out there where it's I, like, here's the whole process. Trust me, I thought about this. Didn't want to look it up, but I thought about it. But there's got to be some technology that they're not releasing. I want to know what that is. Mm -hmm. How are they getting the cookies to taste the way they do? How do they get that middle stuff to taste the way it stuff tastes? You know? Mm hmm. Because I want to make it at home. Your own creme? Mm hmm. I want some good creme. Like you said, that double stuff creme. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd hack. I just hack our own government. Just be like, you know what? It's time to find out all the secrets. Well, pretty much what I was saying. Yeah, we get it. I just want the whole government. Sasquatch. Yeah. Right yeah. My I just want to know about the paranormal Cubans. stuff they're letting us know about. <laughs> I want to know if NASA, because I've been seeing some stuff on the internet saying like, and it's none of it's been confirmed that like that NASA has found a planet with aliens on it or something. Have you guys seen anything about that? Mm -mm. Nah. But it'll it'll get as soon as they announce it, it'll get immediately overshadowed by something that doesn't mean anything at all. Because right. last time they were like, "Hey, guess what? Uh, aliens exist," and everyone was like, "Whatever, Hunter Biden's doing crack and driving <laughs> seventy down the highway." <laughs> uh, yeah, but certainly there's got to be some alien. That they've either have or working with or people among us, you know? Yeah, do we really have a ship somewhere that we're deconstructing? Like, what's that all about? Is that where cell phones came from? Right. Yeah. No doubt. How do <laughs> PlayStation we come up with fiber two. optics? <laughs> fiber optics, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, you know, that's we were definitely like riding horses around for <laughs> <laughs> hundreds of years and then all Thousands, of a sudden we yeah. got fiber optics mm -hmm. <laughs> did someone just find a crystal somewhere and was like man i'm gonna link a bunch of these together and shine a light through it <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah it's crazy thinking about stuff but like it wouldn't surprise me at all we're on the verge of quantum computers like once that happens like a lot of shit is gonna go down it's like whatever country gets the first quantum computer could hack every other country in the world it's like that serious so like ibm's trying to get in on it I think a few other U.S. companies. And Google. Like, yeah, for sure. Every other government is trying to do it. You see that 60 minutes on it or something? I did. Those yeah. are pretty interesting 60 minutes. It's very interesting, yes. It's very rare for me to watch 60 minutes, but I saw the quantum computing and I was like, i got to watch that. Yeah. yeah. They look wild. They look like old computers in a lot of ways. They look know? like tube, tube computers. Yeah. yeah, it's so crazy. Quantum computing is going to be so wild. And like 50 years from now, we'll be able to have them small enough to be cell phones, probably, you know, realistically, you know? Yeah. And I'll be able to figure out the most complex math problems in fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then in 15 years, like tr or maybe 20 years from now, I will finally get my own Lucy Lou lookalike robot. So mm -hmm. that's what go. I'm looking forward to is get my own Lucy Lou like in Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Jackson it's is the perfect happen, customer. Do you guys hear about sex robots taking over the world, right? 
<laughs> I haven't Get, heard that one. Yeah. Getting tired of being treated for sex and then just taking over. Is that happening right now? It could happen to Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> could, I'll be the first wave. <laughs> first wave to go, man. <laughs> I'm in. Jackson down on the front lines. <laughs> Sacrificing for the country. <laughs> Jackson saw 10 of them and he said, silently, I'll take on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That was the last time we ever saw him. <laughs> he just took a jug of orange juice with him, and we never saw him again. Frank, if you could switch places with someone, who would it be and why? Anybody. Man, that's interesting. I don't know. Uh, Usain Bolt. <laughs> oh yeah just because I want to feel like you know what it would be like to run that fast mm -hmm. you're really the only man that you that can be called the flash realistically yeah fast I mean, I just, yeah I mean that would I just can't imagine that sensation you know, has anyone ever beat that. his like fastest times yet like some of them some of them some but of them he's, yeah he's still got the world record in the 100 meters I think and it, and see, the thing that sucks about Usain Bolt is that you know he could have went faster. Yeah. There's so I many videos like he... of him, like, destroying the competition and then kind of slowing down because he's like, what do I got to do? Why do I, I'm already, yeah. He was so fun to watch. Gosh, it was appointment viewing when he was running. Yeah, that the, 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 those two Olympic, two or three Olympic games that he, you know, participated in, and that was like, that was must watch mm -hmm. TV for me, man. It was crazy, that dude. And he was huge. I mean, he was like six four. Mm hmm. Could fly. Were you into watching Michael Phelps whenever he was swimming? During yeah. All that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He was impressive. He was. Uh, he was awesome. Do you tend to watch the Olympics? I do like to watch the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Me too, man. I really do. It always bums me out when I hear people my age that are just like, I don't care about the Olympics, but I don't, I could care less. I'm like, man, the Olympics are so cool. It's like, see, I used to feel that way, but I was just younger and didn't care. Now that I'm older and I actually like to watch sports, like I get into it now. Mm -hmm. I fucking love curling. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I wish I could curl, but there's nowhere around here to like practice it. So it is so cool to watch. I mean, you know, I, I just typically, you know, you know, I'm a football guy. And so, but I enjoy watching the the curling, the, you know, the gymnastics, yes. the swimming. Swimming, I tell you, man, those those were freaking awesome, man. Mm -hmm. There was relays going and stuff. Mm -hmm. Paris is this summer, right? Paris. Yes. Okay. Do they track, still have wrestling? Field? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. I can't remember if it was one of those sports that they took out or not. Oh, did they take it out? No. I don't think they did. I mean, that's a... I think it's That's a core still, one, yeah. Yeah, it is. It would be a core one to take out if they were to take it out, but I don't I know. I think they're, now they're adding a bunch of other stuff, like, you know, I guess what, golf and mm -hmm. I yep. mean, there's some. Really I, it's like crazy there. that golf is not in there, but uh, it, it was in there for a while, right? I think it was, and then yeah, they, they phased it out, and then now, now they're adding it back in. They're adding some other stuff, too, I saw, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but really interesting stuff. I saw something that they were trying to get inline, like inline skating back in there. That would like, be weird, mm -hmm. huh? That could work as far as like half pipe goes for sure. Yeah, but I don't know. I just don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know how to judge it. You know, inline people doing those like crazy triple flips with like a three sixty during the triple flip is like insane. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's too much for me whenever I was watching it on Next Games. You don't ever see it on Next Games anymore. But Well, I mean, I watch I watch diving every time that's on. I love watching diving and then people can watch people can watch them and fully count the amount of spins they do when they're diving, so they should be right. able to do it when they're inline skating, you know. They should add Ninja Warrior course to it, you know. The first like Ninja Warrior course Olympics. That would be weird. That'd be yeah. really cool. What would you call it? Like a some type of athlon, um, 
uh, Ninjathlon. 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 <laughs> Coined it. <laughs> there you go. Copyrighted. Copyright. Yeah. I got Frank here. <laughs> He's going to help me. Witness. <laughs> Speech skating. <laughs> Next question, Cal. <laughs> um, okay. If you were in a world of pain, <laughs> if you were living, a, if you were living a criminal life, a world of crime, what kind of criminal would you be? Bank robber, world class assassin, um, gigolo, ev- evil garbage man. Um, what would you be? The world class assassin sounds sounds good to me. I think you'd that would be an exciting lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dangerous. I don't want to set you up for anything, but what would you be your method? Your favorite method of assassination? Come up behind him with some guitar wire and <laughs> no, I no. Don't. I think I'd have to have some kind of a like badass gun of some sort. Would you go sniper? Or I would, would, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be would 100% sniper, be sniper assassin. Sniper. You're not a blow dart kind of guy? <laughs> no, I'm not blowing anything. <laughs> <laughs> just hiding in some grass. <laughs> <laughs> hiding in the potted plant. Like <laughs> <laughs> I specialize in blow dart. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the work. I I'm probably wouldn't probably wouldn't do like the you know the piano wire thing because I don't know just touching you know somebody while you're killing them is mm-hmm. I probably have a conscience. You get wet too, but from just yeah, but from distance it's like oh, mm-hmm. got him. Walk away, or you could get you could get really good with making um, paper airplanes and tip the dip or. <laughs> dip the tip in poison get it from range Man, you know I thought about the poison thing but you know I'm such a klutz I'd probably get that shit on me and then I'd be gone <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're not that's what you don't consider is getting it on you hey what's that oh <laughs> not again, not again. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be cool to specialize in mm. I, I only poison people's food in different ways I don't shoot nothing like that that would be a cool type of assassin. So you're a chef assassin. Yes, chef assassin. <sighs> chef assassin. <A> sh- <laughs> yes, the first of my kind. I think there's quite a few of those over in Russia. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. People are just <laughs> going. Yeah, yeah, just disappearing. Just disappearing. Draw. I'm 35, but died of natural causes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah, I definitely dislike Putin, but you gotta get <laughs> you gotta give him credit. He's got some pretty great comebacks to everything that we say at him. You know, he's like, "You've poisoned your enemies." He's like, well, "What'd you guys do with JFK?" Huh? And he's like, "He just basically throws everything right back at us." And he's like, eh, "You're kind of right. <laughs> you're kind of right." Still, you, you you're always always doesn't to, make yeah. up for it. You're always trying to defend all these like fucked up people and it, <laughs> I, I can never like jive with you on those points it's be, it's because like I agree with them on like on that sense yeah but at the same time I'm just like you're still a piece of shit you know yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like hey man just because our government's doing it doesn't mean you should be doing it <laughs> <laughs> if you're a dictator you can do pretty much whatever you want yep, yep. unfortunately okay Frank Yes, sir. What is the sexiest noodle? Mm, uh, uh, I like the rigatoni personally. Rigatoni, <laughs> yeah. the rigatoni. But see, uh, you know, being Italian, man, my mom makes the best rigatonis. Mm. And that's kind of like at holiday time, you know, that's what we have. We don't have turkey at Thanksgiving. We have rigatonis. Ooh. Sounds pretty that good. That does sound yeah, good. It's, for, it's killer. What's the best thing she makes? My mom? Yeah. 
Anything Italian. She's like full blood Italian. Really? Unfortunately, my is she, wife is has she like learned super, all the secrets. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. I was gonna is she like super like Italian where she refuses to cook anything else? She's like, I am not cooking quesadillas. I'm like it's pasta night tonight. And then she was the next not night it's gotta get that gabagoosh. Not that hardcore, but Every week we were yeah. having pasta, homemade uh, noodles. She can make the homemade yeah. noodles. As she got older, of course, you know it was easier to just go to Palookas and Frontenac. Yeah, and mm-hmm. buy the imported stuff. Yeah, but making noodles. Yeah, my work, my though. my mom's family, my grandmother and grandfather, unless I came through Ellis Island from Italy. Word. So what age? Oh, uh, they were in their, you know, early teens. Yeah. Back in 1930, 38 or 39 or something like that. So I guess that makes me a second generation American. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice. Interesting stuff, man. I don't know what when my family came over here. Like, all I know is I'm fifth cousins to John Wayne. <laughs> and that's that's about it. I know that I'm like German Swedish, but dude, that's something though. And the Duke, man, he was bad. He was a bad man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting any of that money. None of that movie money. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> he kind of looks like him if you look he at him. Does. Yeah, yeah. All right, Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys want to talk a little bit of football? Sure. Yeah. So, Frank, what did you think about this last season, man, as a previous former football player? Well, I thought it was great. I mean, we, um, you know, when we did the preseason thing, we kind of all made our picks. And I was trying to think. I think I picked, I think they picked Kansas City in the AFC and picked Dallas in the NFC. Um, That's what I picked, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was like, you know, when you're the champs, you're the champs until someone knocks you off that pedestal and it hasn't happened yet. So it was um, it was a very good year for the NFL, I feel. Yep, another 365 days of saying we're the champs, dudes. <laughs> we're going to go for another 365 and, and, at the end I of this one. I think they have a legitimate shot at a three-peat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are saying that, like, the Chiefs really can only get better this next year. Because this was their, there's supposed to be their down year, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a lot of people are saying, like, they can arguably only get better. Well, their defense carried them, and, you know, for most of the year, they have the youngest defense in the NFL. Um, if they, you know, if they have uh, an opportunity to, to kind of clean things up on offense, you know, especially maybe at the wide receiver position and mm-hmm. – um, I think they'll have a legitimate shot at a at a three peat, which would be historic. Mm-hmm. How do you like the talk that I keep hearing about them trying to go all out for Mike Evans this year? I'm not too big of a fan of the idea of them going all out for Mike Evans. Well, f- fortunately for the Chiefs, I think the draft this year is is heavy with with talented receivers and offensive linemen. And I think if you looked at KC's wish list, you know, they I think they'd like to get, you know, a top flight receiver and, you know, at least one stud offensive tackle. Because mm-hmm. I can't remember which tackle they that, that he led the NFL in penalties. And so I think they're yeah. thinking that they need to make a change there. But – you know, the free agency thing, the thing about Mike Evans is he's, what, he's 30s in the end of his 30s? I mean, he's, I so, he's yeah. been in the league a while. I mean, he still can play at a very high level, but. God, didn't he I, play with Johnny Manziel? I like think Texas so. Texas a Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Man. Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, if they have an opportunity to get a young guy, they can, you know, bring in with Rice. And, I mean, they, they've got a. You know, they've got some workable 
Mm -hmm. serviceable dudes so they're not that far off from being really good again i think i'd be okay with mike evans if he was like cheap you know that's the problem yeah Yeah. if he came in on a he's not gonna be yeah yeah. there's not too many players out there that are like travis kelsey and patrick mahomes where they're chasing legacy and not the paycheck right same thing with t higgins you know in cincinnati he you know Mm -hmm. he's not gonna be inexpensive yeah, he'll want as much as he can get for sure. I heard like Calvin Ridley is another possible wide receiver that we might go for, but I don't know about that one either. And the dude was a stud in college. Yeah, he was. Did he play stud. for Alabama? Yeah. Yeah, man. Stud. Mm. So, but yeah, it was a good year, man. I, I was talking with someone the other day about. You know, Kansas City midseason, though, you know, it was like, I I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, you just can't – you can't bet against Mahomes. And mm-hmm. I say – I've told – you know, Andy Reid is probably the best at making, like, in-game adjustments of anybody in history. I mean, just the, the Super Bowl was a great example. I mean, San Francisco was just crushing the Chiefs in the first half. And they come out at halftime, man. They make those adjustments, and in both both San Francisco Super Bowls was like that. You know? Both of them, exactly right. I mean, they had they had that fourth and one where they called a a called run for Mahomes. It never happens. Great call. Mm-hmm. Never have a called run for Mahomes. Yeah, great call. And you know, Bosa was like. Mahomes is not going to carry this ball. He's going to hand it off. And then he's went flying down the line. <laughs> yeah. him. Man, he's like, uh oh. Didn't even look at Mahomes. <laughs> Didn't even look at him. <laughs> Didn't even look at him. So, yeah, I was good, man. I was, I was happy. I was, my Saints struggled, you know, at the quarterback position this year. So I wouldn't be surprised that I've seen some of the mock drafts that they're talking about getting that guy from Oregon, Bo Nix. He, Maybe. I mean, yeah, he's been in the he's been in college for like five years, right? At least. I'm pretty sure he's like been five yeah. years. Five or six, man. Yeah. Collecting that paycheck. Uh yeah. <laughs> I mean he should be good, but should be ready, I yeah. mean, yeah, he should be ready. I mean with COVID and the, you know, and all this NIL stuff, I mean guys are staying six, seven years. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Well, why yeah. not? It's, it's, it is insane. Might as well become a doctor yeah. while you're freaking playing football. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's insane. No kidding. God, become a lawyer. Like, holy shit, dude. Does the college not have any kind of rules against, like, you can only play X amount of years, like, well, in they football? Used to. I mean, you see, you play four, you had four years of eligibility, but, you know, five if you redshirt. So now they've got, you know, the COVID exception, the, you know, the redshirt, the, you know, <laughs> the, you can stay six, <laughs> seven years. If Eventually, they're going to have like 36 and 37 year olds out there. It's like, boom. We found this dude that is building up tankers down at the dockyard. Well, we I put mean, a jersey on him and said, hey, you want an education? You're still here. <laughs> Man, I just can't get through that physics class. <laughs> what was it 29 like? 29 years old. <laughs> Five years ago, four years ago, J.R. Smith, the basketball player, went back to college and was on the actual golf college team. Hmm. Really? Yeah. You remember that at all? I think I saw it. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. College sports is weird to me. It is weird, yeah. It's a lot different than it used to be, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Um, Is there any uh, teams that you're you're thinking are going to this next year make the next step and make the next leap? NFL-wise? Yeah. Not the Panthers. I'd like to see they're, Detroit they're make a it. I think Detroit might have. Sh- I mean, they they obviously were much improved this year. Yeah, which was a surprise. Mm-hmm. I would like to see them get to the Super Bowl, man. Like yeah. there's cer- there's certain teams that I, I look at and I like look at them like because like now now that I'm spoiled, I would like to see other teams get to the Super Bowl so we could beat them. Right. But yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but now, now I'm looking at like teams on the NFC side. So I'm like, man, I'd like the Lions to make it all the way. You know. <laughs> I'd say they're going to have a good shot. I mean, they're they're really good. I think um, I think Miami was a surprise this year. I think they'll you know I think they're going to continue to be a team to watch. Buffalo, Cincinnati, 
you know, those guys are, I mean, they're just right there. It's hard, it's hard, you know, if you don't get over the hump, you know, it's hard to maintain that. So, you know, maybe you see a drop off on those teams. Baltimore. Yeah, they, I have a feeling that Miami might be one of those teams that drops off this year. Miami, you said? Yeah, I feel like this is going to be the year where you see that Trevor Lawrence is not the prince that was promised, that Nick Wright keeps saying. You mean Jacksonville? Jacksonville. <laughs> or Jacksonville. Yes. My bad. Uh, yeah, I was, thinking, I was thinking Jacksonville for some mm-hmm. reason. Yeah, I feel yeah. He's he's okay. I just I don't know if he's got it that it factor, you know. What about the Chargers, Frank? How do you think the Chargers are going to be this year? Well, they'll probably be improved from last year. Obviously, they're going to have a new coach, new system. But you know, as long as you got Herbert, you know he's top echelon of the quarterbacks in the league. He and they've got a good defense. Mm-hmm. I think they'll. Yeah, I think the AFC West probably is going to be extremely difficult. It, Sean Payton seems like he got Denver turned around. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, they were tough. They beat the Chiefs out there in Denver and just smoked them. The Raiders, <laughs> you know that Christmas Day coach, meeting, man. Yeah, that was ugly. Mm-hmm. Antonio Pierce, to watch. Right? yeah, Antonio Pierce. So, yeah, it's going to be very competitive. No doubt. We'll have to have a preseason oh, cast, heck yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sleuth it out. <laughs> Get our picks in, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think everybody was pretty good on their picks last year. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we all brag. picked the Chiefs, so. Yeah. <laughs> I had Chiefs San Francisco as my Super Bowl, which I think was a very common one for a lot of people, but, you know. Oh, you called that? Yeah, I, I think it. so. Yeah, I was I'm trying to him. think who who made. The, I know every, most everybody was like on the Chiefs AFC, and then the NFC was Philly, Dallas, yeah. Frisco. Yeah, yeah. I picked. I remember like me and Frank picked the Cowboys on the NFC side, and I thought for sure they were going to do it this year, man. But you know, Dak did Dak, mm. so Cowboys going to Cowboy. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, they're so loaded. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. They have so much talent. And they were talking about how Dak is wanting to reset the quarterback market this year. It's like, dude, you've done. You're not doing anything in the postseason to prove that you deserve it. Right. And you're kind of slow because of that ankle, now. You're kind of slow. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. But, yeah. So it'll be interesting. Niners probably will be. They'll they'll be tough again next year. I have oh yeah, guarantee it. Yeah. They're going to want to come back with a vengeance next year, but at the same time, I feel like they've got, like, they've got so much, or, like, so little cap to work with. You know, they're going to have to get rid of players next year, so. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think about the Green Bay Packers this year? think they're going to be much improved, or? Think I think take- they will be. I think they'll be another contender. I think that, you know, Jordan Love finally, you know, showed the potential that, they were kind of counting on when they drafted him. He kind of had a slow start, but the last part of the year, man, he was tough as nails. Mm-hmm. One bad throw, and that ruined their yeah. offseason, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just a young player. Um, he's gonna young players. They get better, right? He's going to do what Patrick Mahomes did and just figure out, oh, you can't make that kind of throw in that kind of situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to be smart with the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll be pretty salty too. Oh yeah, I like their coach. I think he's pretty smart, Matt Lafleur. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there's a lot of good young coaches in the league now. It's crazy how mm-hmm. these guys are. A lot of good offensively minded coaches that were all coaching together at one point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> you guys want to go ahead and move into Yo, dude, check this out. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Unless you guys got any final NFL thoughts. Not that I could think of, man. And my thoughts are on Gasano's. I think I heard <laughs> the day they said that um, the NFL salary cap per team, you know, they what they do is they, you know, look at all the, the revenue and the numbers that come in from, you know, TV viewership and all that, TV contracts and stuff, and they, they set a – uh, a salary cap. I guess it was set an all time record <laughs> for 2024, the upcoming season. It's going to be an all time high. 
How much did they raise it by? It was like twenty million, or I I, have, I really don't know. I think I saw it was two hundred fifty five million or something. Per Dang! Team. I mean, it was an insane number. Man, <clears throat> all, all, I the mean, popularity is just incredible. Yeah, it was. They have an incredible amount of like rating where they're number one throughout the whole year and stuff. It's just insane. The highest viewed numbers. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, yeah it's it's absolutely amazing. And with, you know, with all the streaming stuff, you know, everybody's going to be, all these streaming, they're going to be bidding for rights. And so. And what do you think about that new streaming service with like Disney, Fox, and all that? Do you hear about that? Yeah, I heard that, you know, it's going to be. Uh, supposed to have like ESPN, yeah, Fox it's Sports. Be, it's and a lot of sports. They announced the price for that yet? Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, from I mean, what I heard, coming. NFL's pissed about it. Fuck them. Yeah, the NFL's like, whoa, you guys didn't consult us about this. Fuck them. That's all I got to say. The NFL is that big, though. You got you to gotta probably consult the NFL because that's a huge paycheck for whoever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they that. probably want a cut of that because a lot of people are getting those channels for NFL. True. Yeah. Especially if yeah, it's, it's just... going to be interesting, for sure. Isn't it crazy, man, that you're part of... Like, you started... Like, you were part of all of this, man. I mean, I'm sure you... I mean, yeah, man, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to, you know, it's kind of hard to fathom sometimes to think about how f- far things have come, but, you know, even the guys that played before me, you know, that kind of laid the groundwork for, you know, all the stuff that's going on today. It's, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I feel very, very fortunate. Um, the NFL has done a really good job of, you, you know, trying to go back and take care of former players and, you know, with, you know, health benefits, pension stuff. Um, it's pretty awesome. And with all I'm that money, lucky. yeah, all that money, might as well try to take care of the players that got you there, you know? Dang right. Pay it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are pretty much modern day gladiators. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. on the biggest stage. <laughs> like, you got, like, UFC fighters, boxers, and then you got football players, like, pretty much right there. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, as far so. as being the most popular, I mean, I mean, people tune in for that the most. I would. Yeah. I would oh, yeah. yeah 100% you, in America. On the, this is America. The NFL is just, it's insane how many. Is it, like, 212 yeah, million watch the Super Bowl? Something like that? Yeah, something it's crazy. Uh, Mind boggling. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Glad I was able to be a part of it. It's rad. Very man. lucky, man. What Very did you lucky. Th- what did you think of Usher? Liked it, man. I thought the halftime show was good. I thought I did a good job. I had had laughed my uh I have a three year old grandson that he uh when Usher was taking off his shirt, he was trying to take his shirt off. <laughs> it was pretty sweet. <laughs> Going nuts during, turn down for what? <laughs> so, man, I'm going to have a rapper for a grandson. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So cool. You ever, been to a, you ever been to a Super Bowl? Uh, no. Think you'll ever go to one? I don't. I wouldn't rule it out, but I mean, I'd. I like just hanging at home and mm-hmm. watching it with family and friends, and it's a lot calmer, a lot, yeah, a lot more relaxing. <laughs> and yeah. you can go I to guess bed, probably right? go. I mean, if they had it in Vegas again, I might consider it. I think that. Yeah. I think that turned out with that new stadium. I think it turned out way better than what they thought it was going to. Mm-hmm. They're Next probably going to have it's New Orleans, and I mm-hmm. told somebody that. When the Chiefs won their first Super Bowl in, was it 67, 68, or whatever it was, that game was played at Tulane Stadium in New Orleans. They beat the Vikings. So now they got a chance to three-peat in New Orleans. That'd be crazy. So first one, then in three-peat, that would be pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Back in New Orleans. Wow. You'd have to go to that, Frank. You'd have, yeah, to, you'd have, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would consider going to New Orleans. I don't know if I'd go to the game. It's just so expensive, <laughs> but I would hang out in the French Quarter. <laughs> yeah. 
enjoy all the festivities. Oh, yeah. I could probably do that. Hey, like watch the first quarter in a bar and be like, man, it really smells like pee everywhere here. Everywhere I go. That's just the standard down there. Yeah. 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 All right. Go for the Mardi Gras, stay for the pee. Yeah. (laughs) Go to pee, stay for the Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys ready to move into Yo Do? Check this out. Yeah. Yo Do. Yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. All right. Yo, dude, check this out. Um, It doesn't give me the actual time that this happened, but a bowler once bowled a 299.5 in a game, and he was able to do that on the very final frame. One of the pins broke in half. And one of them fell into the gutter, and the other one ended up staying upright. So he got that half point. Whoa. It's considered to be the only 299 and a half game ever in bowling. So wow. even more rare than a 300 perfect game. How are you going to make a pin split at that perfect time like that, you know? Impossible. Impossible, yeah. Yeah. have to admit, I've never seen a pin split half ever. Yeah. That's crazy. It's the first time I'm hearing about it. It <laughs> yeah. might be a fake story. Was it horizontal or vertical? I th- it's get, uh, it's probably split right down the middle, you know, because one, one si- side of it was able to stay up. So <laughs> mm. not only did it split, but one side was, I'm staying right here. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes you, know, you get a lot of pin action, you know, depending on how hard you yeah. throw spin and knock the top off or something. Could, yeah. Get some good pin action. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. Did you guys see that America has successfully, successfully made it back to the moon? Lander. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the Odysseus lander successfully touched down the moon in a historic landing. Who directed that one? Um, that was uh, <laughs> done by Christopher <laughs> Nolan. James Cameron. James Cameron. <laughs> but no... Uh, it's made by a company called uh, Intuitive Machines. They built it in cooperation with NASA. It's not really confirmed what type of state it's in right now. They may have changed this. Uh, what's they may have found out what state it's in, you know, after the information I found. Okay. I, look, I found this this morning. Okay. So today they may have realized what state it's in. But I just think it's cool that we're finally back on the moon, even though it's not like a NASA, NASA spacecraft. But I think it's cool that an American made company is finally back on there. Because, I mean, there's all these countries right now are like, dude, let's get on the moon. Let's start mining this thing. It's like, man, I don't know if you guys should do that. But if we're going to do it, America needs to be on there, too. Was it the you, Japanese probe that was like upside down? Yeah. 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 That picture yeah. looked impossible very insane like how did that not blow up yeah how did it not explode yeah. right do you have a really hard roof what's going on here well along the same line with what you're saying is that, you know I, i've been reading that a lot of countries are trying to get down to the southern cap of the moon because it's frozen ice and they're talking about trying to figure out a way to get and turn that into water mm-hmm. and um Make some hydrogen engines and start propelling. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So making fuel for the next launch to like, and, and use that as a stage to go to Mars. Mm-hmm. So we, you, we need to be on that if, you know, if right. countries are getting ready to try and do that kind of stuff, we need to be there first. Mm-hmm. Cause you got to imagine it's way easier to lift off from the moon than Earth. Absolutely. <laughs> You're not having to break our freaking gravity. One, one sixth gravity. Yeah. yeah. Man, it'd be so much easier to get to other planets. It's pretty crazy that there's that much interest in getting back to the moon, though. It's pretty wild. Mm-hmm. I just think all these companies are starting to realize, man, we're losing all these materials and minerals on Earth, and we know all these asteroids are out there with, like, tons of water on them, tons of iron and all, you know, whatever is any, on there. Any mineral, yeah. Any mineral, yeah. It's just out there. Yeah, precious metals. I mean, there's all kinds of t- Get it. There's an entire asteroid belt that we could mine, you know? Be cool, yeah, man. Um, yeah, dude, check this out. Um, giant sea spiders, right? You guys hear about these? <laughs> no, giant sea spiders. <laughs> yeah. So like, there's there's like a bunch of different kinds of sea spiders, but specifically the giant ones that live in the Arctic areas. Um, they're big because of like um, the cold regions. Like, I guess there's like a gigantism thing 
in those regions to try to like stay warm or whatever. Yeah. I think I actually know what you're talking about now. So like they're like these really big uh, sea spiders. Um, nor- with normal sea spiders, they hold on to the eggs until they hatch. But with these giant Arctic ones, they they like the male spider will spend like two days attaching the eggs to rocks on the ground of the seafloor until until they're done, and then they just end up hatching. And apparently, the male spider will end up caring for the smaller spiders initially as like a father figure type thing. Wow! Yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's a caring spider. Who would have thunk it? Yeah. They yeah, look no, similar crazy. to spiders on land, but I guess they are they are a little bit different in some ways. But they look very similar. They almost look like they should be part of the coral. You know what I'm saying? In some ways, yeah. Sometimes some of them, yeah. It's like yeah, very interesting patterns and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, almost like um, like crab leg kind of looking. Kind of like crabs in some ways, yeah. Yeah, wild dude. Wild. Nature documentaries. I can I can watch those all day, man. Nature, mm-hmm. are you crazy? Yeah. I still think about Jackson every once in a while, man. It's like, too, dude, man. why do you have to go? <laughs> <laughs> I think about Jackson every day. Well, the thing about the ocean is, you know, how much have we not explored? Yep. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> who knows what's under there? How many cities are down there that we just don't know about because they've just been flooded over and they're just probably maybe sitting there perfectly preserved or? Yeah. It, very interesting. We know more about space than... Under the ocean. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for the day where we find some jackpot and they're like, dude, there's like a whole city with like giant statues everywhere and these people are gigantic <laughs> or something, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like oil company like DBP or something? That, that's what they've been doing this entire time. They're like, oh, we've been going to the ocean. Like, ah, there's oil, gold oil down there. <laughs> it's wild, man. Yeah. We've been doing Crazy. it. <laughs> oil company's been doing it for years. Yep. Yeah, and we sent that Titan submersible down. Never came back. Yep. The Nikon controller that they <laughs> used to control yeah, the, it, like, survived. controller, man. Bad <laughs> choice. I remember Ooh. seeing, like, the f- footage of the rubble, and it was like, here's pieces of the aircraft, and then, like, someone, like, circled, like, the Nikon controller. Perfectly, <laughs> cons- like, preserved. <laughs> the Nokia device. <laughs> yeah, that was instantaneous. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's what exploring the ocean gets you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, interested, I'm interested in it, but I prefer somebody else to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you can send robots. Report. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the beginning of Titanic. That footage was good enough for me. <laughs> I saw the pictures. I don't need any more. I don't need to get close to it. I don't need to like look out a window and be like, oh, there it is. It's the exact same thing I saw at the beginning of Titanic. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I love it, man. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Yep. All right. That's what episode was this? 126 episodes, man. 126. Cool, man. That's been episode 126 of Crashing with Friends podcast. How do you like it? Frank Watlett, thanks again for coming back on. We appreciate, appreciate you, guys you asking me, man. We can't wait to have here. you back on again. We'll do it. We love you, Frank. All right. <laughs> and now we got to go celebrate love. these boys' mom. They have a birthday. She had a birthday. She's what? too old. Yeah. She's yeah. Getting older. Not old enough for Gasanos, which is what we're going to go <laughs> eat, man. Chicago well, uh, style. Chicago pizza. Frank, It'll once again, thanks for coming, man. Thanks for the invite, man. I always love hanging with you guys. Again, we'll have you on. All right, man. If you'll come. come on. All awesome. right. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're looking at me like, say something, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> say something, make everybody laugh. No, man, thanks. It was great. Of course, Frank. You're the best, dude. You guys are awesome. Crashing with Friends. Podcast.